Hello everyone. Yeah, I asked uh, I asked uh, ChatGTP to create a website for generating QR code for me, and I was really surprised, you know, by the outcome of that. Um, ChatGTP didn't actually do the uh, implementation for creating the website. That's the React site. Um, I was the one that did that, but ChatGTP um, gave me a lot of information on how to do that as as quick as possible which i wasn't really expecting it to to be that intelligent so that really surprised me and um, basically this is the simple um qr code generator so what you can do here is just simply type maybe for example i want this to go to um my website so i'll just say if i am meata.com and you see it's generating it right there and i can choose uh, what format i want it to be downloaded and all i need to do is I click here go to download i'll just click that and then i can save it in the desktop and save and i've saved that and if i come here to CATSC is in PNG. Let me just go to get the info, and we can see the info here. I said PNG image, so let me try another one. And this time, I'm going to use JPEG and I'm going to say eBay.com. And you can see it's generated the QR code in uh, and it's going to be downloaded in JPEG format. If I click on that and save. And I come back here and uh, and uh, that's it here JPEG and I go to the info you can see is uh, JPEG right so basically that's how this works and you can use it to generate a QR code for any site or link to anything you want so how was I able to do that with chat GTP and here i went to ask chat tdp i wanted to test this knowledge to know how intelligent it is and i was like okay write a javascript and react code to generate a qr code for a website url and chat tdp surprised me you know it, it responded it said to generate a qr code for a website url in javascript or react you can use a library like qr code dot react here is an example on how to use it and I was surprised because I've never used this model before so I had to go and search for it and I saw how to install it and I also saw some information about it down here but chat it didn't stop they went on to explain how to use that and they said this will generate a QR code that when scanned with a smartphone or other device will take the user to a specified URL you can also customize the appearance of the QR code by passing additional props to the QR code component. For example, you can set the size, for color, foreground color, and background color of the QR code by using the size, foreground color, and background color props, respectively. So here is an example on how you might customize the appearance of the QR code. And 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 really, I, I didn't expect it to like go in depth to explain all this. He said this will generate a QR code that is 200 pixels wide and tall with a black foreground color and white background color, you know. And I was able to use this. And um, the only thing I was able to um, modify was when it comes to downloading it. But uh, this basic thing, um, basic part of the app, I just left the default values as uh, size and the color foreground and background color maybe i could uh, add um, options for those ones later you know but i was not satisfied because at this point it didn't tell me how to it didn't tell me how to download um this so i had to go back to ask um chat gtp on how to do it. i say okay write code to download canvas image in react and how did i get that because when i applied this code um, it gave me here and this the app does just file you know i was able to apply that and um, i created states like i created a state here for the url and i passed in the default url as google.com this is the import i i made after installing what it recommended 
and I imported this and over down here was where I was able to use that so let's see that's this one here and over here is this basically a tailwind css i applied here but um this is just the 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 name the header which is what we've seen here then the input is this bit here so this is the input so this is the one that takes the value of what you want to generate the qr code for so um, i put a handle change function there and it's able to take if you come here and see that it's able to set the value that is typed in here to the state for url here so that's how i was able to get this url so it's this url that i'm now passing to generate this so if we come down here to this which is the qr code itself remember the options it gave which i just left it as uh, static but i was able to pass the value as the url which is typed in here which which we are able to get from this state here and and that was how i was able to now say on click when you click this i now needed to download it but how did i do that so i now had to go back to ask it here and i said write code to download canvas image in react you know but i had to be sure that it was a canvas image so what i did was after i set it here and i said handle download i went up here to where we have this function here and i had to test what this e dot target would give and it showed me a canvas and i was like that's great let me ask um chat gtp2 on how to download the canvas and i went and asked him and 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 he said to download an image from a canvas in react you can use the to data url method of the canvas context which returns a base 64 encoded string representation of the image you can then use the st this string to create a link that can be used to download the image here is an example of how you can do this and i didn't really expected to do all this but it really surprised me i was able to get now i used the use ref hook um why because it was making reference to the canvas here but since i already have access to it using this e dot target i didn't need to use uh, the use ref so i just passed in here the e dot target that's the canvas itself and that's what was passed to the variable canvas and the remaining part of it did the work you know as um, chat gtp recommended and it worked out really really nice you know just as we as we saw and it said this code generates a canvas element and a button that when clicked will download the image from the canvas that the to data url method is called on the canvas context to get a basic for encoded string representation of the image which is then used to create a link element with the download attribute set to the desired file name and the href and and that's what we have here download and href right and it said attribute set to the image data finally the click method is called on the link element to trigger the download and and it's amazing how chat gtp is able to explain of all these things you know the, the the code it was able to give to me and and with the understanding i that understanding i was able to build this and i now added the feature of um choosing what type of format uh, because I needed to remember here, you can see it's passing it default PNG. So I just created a state for that one as file type. And then I created this uh, select um, option here and where you can select um, the format. And that format will be passed into the state here to set the file type. And default is PNG. And that is here, handle choice. As you can see here on change handle choice and it will handle choice set that and um, this i didn't need to really console <laughs> log it out here so um that, that's fine just yeah so just to set that and and once that is set then you when you click on on that is going to now uh save it as the format as we saw so the other thing i did was with tailwind css i was able to get this nice background and uh, i did the rest of the styling within the app.js so uh, 
in some way, like I'm really surprised, you know, to see how how much information I was able to get out from Chat TTP, and it made me um, build this application almost like three times faster than if I had uh, done it myself to try and figure that out. So that's really interesting, and I just thought I would uh, show it to you. And uh, this is the repo where it's uh, currently hosted, and I have connected this to uh, the Vessel um, hosting where I'm currently hosting that. So so, and any change I make uh, also comes to production, and, and that's what uh, we're able to see here. So just go and try this, and uh, let me know your thoughts about it. And also, let me also, you can also comment and let me know about what your experience has been about uh, using uh, uh, Chat TTP. Uh, let me just try one more. Go daddy. Let me see. Go And that's the. That's it, yeah. All right, thank you and bye.